once again a very warm welcome i'm your host avinas and you are watching the learning destination this is the episode number 04 of my ongoing series hasikor bolt and today we are going to see that the dynamic secret so without any further delay let's start so let's understand that today's agenda so in the episode 01 this is the little recap what we have done in previous three sessions so in the episode 01 we have covered the introductions in the episode 02 we have covered the installations starting point and the secret creations and finally in last episode number 03 we have covered what is the secret engine and how it works and in this sessions we are going to cover the dynamic secret okay guys now so let's understand some definitions of the dynamic secret and the static secret so in order to understand the dynamic secret we must need to understand the static secret so in previously if you go through the earlier sessions whatever the secret we were creating that was that comes under the category of a static secret because we are we are storing the data inside a specified path we call it as a secret and we were using the secret engine kb however in dynamic secret the dynamic secret are generated when they are access it means that in aws aws comes under the dynamic secret category and in such cases whenever the user try to access some resources the world communicate with the aws through the api and it generates the new user key and this process keeps continuous it means for each and every request there will be a new access and secret key will be generated so if you see here are the definitions like unlike the kv secret where you had to put data into the store yourself dynamic secret are generated when they are access dynamic secret do not exist until they are read so there is no risk of someone stealing them or another client using the same secret and this is one of the biggest advantage over the static secret and that's why we should use the dynamic secret because since it's a nature to generate a new access key and secret key on the each and every request this makes it much stronger and robust because of volt has built in revocations mechanism dynamic secret can be revoked immediately after use minimizing the amount of time the secret exists and that's what we are going to see also like by default the world gives the facility to revoke any new access key and secret key which has been generated so after 768 hours it will be automatically revoked however if you want to revoke immediately there is a command and you can do that So in these sessions, we are going to cover following topics like enable AWS Secret Engine. Then we will cover configure the AWS Secret Engine. After that, we will be creating one role, and then finally we will generate the secret. And at the last, finally we will revoke the secret which we have created. Okay, guys. So now let's return on the practical sessions. And in practical sessions, as we have seen in the topic. firstly we need to enable the aws secret engine so in order to enable the aws secret engine the command is vault secret enable and then we need to define the path and then the path we are defining aws and we are taking aws as a dynamic secret engine so the command is actually it's not secret it's secrets so we can see it's a success and successfully the aws secret engine is enabled now we will configure the aws secret engine in order to configure the aws secret engine we need one im user account which have the root accessibility so the vault can easily communicate with the aws through the api and it can generate the access key and secret key on each request so so now let's create one user in aws and i'm going to give it name avinash i am just giving only the programmatic access permissions i am giving administrator access please don't use this access in the productions make sure the next review and we can say create user and we will use this access key and secret key so let's use it the command i have already prepared it so it can save our time and we can put this access key and secret key here let 
me do it quickly and now the secret key we need to export and secret key we can also copy from here now we will configure the aws secret engine and the command is this So you can see that is a success data written to AWS config root. It means that we have stored this access key and secret key at this location, so it can uh, come. So our board server can easily communicate with our AWS account. Now let's create the policy, and one of the policy I have already written here. and i will explain you this policy as well so generally i am creating one policy by the name devops hyphen role what this policy does this policy this uh, sorry so particular i am creating one role it's not policy it's a role and this role is having the accessibility on ec2 so this role can perform all the activity of ec2 services as you can mention that i have given the asterisk sign that is the wildcard entry so it can perform all the action inside the ec2 services so let's create so now you can see that, that this role has been successfully created now let's in the next sections we will generate one secret So you can see that the secret has been successfully generated. There are a few points that we need to understand. The secret, the ID is here at this locations. Then as I told you, like the, the by default, the 768 hours, which is the time the vault gives. And after these hours, the automatic, this access key and secret key will be revoked. However, there is a facility you can immediately revoke as well. And that we are going to see in my next command. So now let's return on the AWS console and if we go back here, so what we can see here, this is the user which I have created to give access world. So our world server can communicate to this AWS account, right? After that, this user, this particular user has been created by the world and this is, and this user has been created by the world to generate the access key and secret key. So basically what we have done in the previous few commands, we have enabled the AWS secret engine using this command. And then after that, we have configured the AWS access key and secret key. And then we have created one role called DevOps hyphen role. After that, we have asked Bolt to generate the access key and secret key for this particular role. And this access key and secret key has the privileges or this access key and secret key is having the permission to perform all the actions of EC2 services. So in the next time, if we generate again, if we run this command again, then there will be a new access key and secret key and it will be revoked. So let's try. So now you can see the difference. This key and this key is different. Again, the secret key is different. And that is the beauty of the dynamic secret. On each request, you cannot get the previous access key and secret key. It will be revoked. And in, on each request, you will be getting new access key and secret key. Now we will see that how we can revoke. Because by default, there is a 768 hours. However, we want to revoke it immediately, how we can do it. So now in next, uh, command we are going to see that how we can revoke the uh, this particular access key and secret key immediately okay so now we will see that how to revoke the secret so as of now we have generated this secret and by default the lease duration is 768 hours however if you want to immediately revoke this then there is a command and command is called 
bolt, lease, revoke, and the path of your rule. But before this, one more thing I would like to highlight. So as of now, you can see that this user is this user is exist. The moment when I revoke it, it will be deleted from AWS console as well. So let's do it. So you can say all revocations operations queued successfully. Now let's refresh it. And now you can see that it has been disappeared. It means that it has been deleted successfully. So this is the way that we can immediately revoke the secret as well. So we have just seen that how to revoke the secret. And this is the definitions which I had given here that uh, how the revokes and what is the definitions of the revoke. So basically the world will automatically revoke these credentials after 768 hours, which we have seen the moment I have generated the secret. And then perhaps you want to revoke it earlier. Yes, of course, we can do it as we have seen the command by volt lease and uh, revoke command. And once the secret is revoked, the access keys are no longer valid. And you can see that the keys, the user has been already disappeared from the AWS console. So in the upcoming sections, guys, in the episode number 05, I am going to cover built-in help sections. That is again a very useful topic. So that's all for this tutorial guys. I hope you are going to enjoy this blog and somehow if you are thinking that it is enhancing your skills, then don't forget to subscribe my channel, The Learning Destinations and don't forget to see my next episode number 05 where I am going to cover built-in help section. So stay tuned with The Learning Destinations and I will see you next week. Till the time, bye-bye. Take care. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching this.